I just wanted to go through a quick update on the start.bat file, which uh, uh, Andreas helped me out with there um, last week. So I'm now starting using the bat file, uh, which is a batch file. Now, and it was a simple change that needed to be done. So first of all, we're just going to start that up and show you. Here's the batch file. I have mine in the program files while J Wildfire 044, which is the version I'm running right now. Start up bat is the file we're changing here, and I'm just going to switch into my editor, my Notepad. Uh, in this case, Notepad plus plus. Anyway, so this is the only line that's there. Now this has been added, this segment here, and this is what makes it work. This part here because it basically shows the exact path of where my files are and the lib file jwildfire the lib folder jwildfire.jar is the actual location on my system you could change this obviously to wherever you happen to be placing your unzipped uh, file system from the zip file you get with jwildfire um, this particular uh, parameter here is not necessary for most people, but in my case I'm running with only 2 gigabytes of RAM, so I've set a maximum uh, RAM use of 1600 meg here. You can, of course, if you have a large uh, amount of RAM, you can put a max up at much higher than uh, 2 meg. So just uh, an interesting sort of uh, parameter you can put into your start uh, batch file. Okay, folks, I uh, just wanted to give you a very quick uh, power tip that um, helps you tune the performance of your PC. Um, whatever um, operating system you're running, there should be a way of doing this. I'm re running um, Windows XP Pro, and this is how you do it on my machinery, on an XP Pro setup. Right-click on your taskbar down here, go to Task Manager, and in order to find your Java process, I normally click on the mem usage to see the, op uh, the, the actual processes that are using the highest amount of RAM uh, and Java tends to be on the top of that. Uh, Java.exe is what's running jwildfire and that's the process I'm interested in. Um, what we're talking about here is when you're doing uh, heavy duty rendering in animations and stuff like that and um, what will happen is that um, jwildfire will take uh, a fair bit of CPU power and in order to stop it from uh, making the rest of the system a little bit unresponsive what you do is you right click on this and go to set priority and then you, instead of going leaving it at normal which is what it normally starts up at and this is something you'd have to do for every session you're running um, but it's just one of those things that if you know about it it's very nice and easy to do it uh, you just select below normal instead of normal and this is what happens when you um, change any of your priorities. It asks you for uh, to acknowledge that you really want to do it. Because if you're doing this willy-nilly on some processes, you might cause problems. So it starts off at normal, and you go select below normal, and just click yes, and there you are. That'll stop the Java process from taking over 99% to 100% of your CPU. Um, uh, will uh, give you a much more responsive system so you can kind of keep on doing things like email or surfing or whatever you want to do while uh, J Wildfire is working away.